my name's Leona from Superconscious Soul and this is your Divine Feminine reading. So this is your mid-month of July. Divine Feminine reading. How is the Divine Feminine feeling at this time? How is the Divine Feminine feeling at this time? Till the end of July. Thank you, thank you. Highest good of all. Right, there we go. Thinking about relationships, we have the lovers. Being undecided about relationships. New beginnings, being undecided about whether we want new beginnings. Where, ooh, where we want to put our energy to. We've had two flyers. We have changes with death card. Do we want this transformation? Do we want to be by ourselves as divine feminines? Is that the new start that we're looking, the new beginning? We also have the star card, which shows that we're having hope and faith at this time. We're looking to the universe for answers. We're looking to the stars. We have the moon card. That's about being our receptive energies. We're looking into our intuitive nudges. We're looking into how we feel. And we're coming out with balance. So this is pretty good. Just like in the supermoon reading, we've got the nine of wands underneath there. So like I said before, it's very exhausting energy that we have here. A lot of the planets are going retrograde, especially a lot of the masculine planets. We could be feel like feeling like we're doing everything by ourselves, like we're needing to kind of focus. Um, we're needing to focus on one thing at a time. We could be putting up boundaries or barriers to the masculine and saying, look, I can't deal with this right now because I have this self-focus or I have this thing that I need to um, deal with. It could also that be that we're coming out of a period of healing from our relationships and we're just feeling like we've put all of our energy into something, but it's the end of this cycle. It's the end of this cycle. We've grown all of these wands and we're almost at that completion of that energy we've also got the ten of cups under that in underneath that which is showing this cancer energy so what this is also showing me is that the masculine energy is kind of drained or even the feminines that kind of have a lot of masculine energy within them they're feeling a little bit drained but we have this emotional energy of the divine feminine is up here we have this rainbow that comes after this nine as well so it's like we have this um, feeling of fulfillment we go from feeling very kind of like pressured to ah yes I feel more back in my divine feminine now and that could also be to do with the divine um with the Cancer Supermoon that's coming up on the 13th as well. But it's like we get this new passion, we get this new zest, we get this new zeal, yeah? And so, I think a lot of the Divine Feminines are realizing at the moment that the relationships that they have around them are a reflection of how they feel about themselves, yeah? A lot of people are looking at whether they want to kind of still maintain this relationship. We're looking at um, relationships as being mirrors. We're also looking into communicating more of a, a larger level within our relationships. And there being some kind of... Um, new knowledge that comes of that yeah we're being a lot more vulnerable in our relationships the ones that we're wanting to keep because i feel like for, there's a lot of indecision here some of the divine um, feminines are wanting to walk away they're undecided they're feeling like they're not sure what to do but we do have this process of death and change and transition that comes in basically if your relationship gets washed away right about now, it's because there's something better coming in. There's new beginnings. We also have the death card next to the nine of pentacles, which kind of shows if a relationship's ended, it's because... Um, there's some power in being single there. There's some power in being self-sufficient. This is a card of less about relationships and more focused on the stability and the 
grounding that we have within ourselves yeah it's kind of like that energy of i'm in a relationship but i want to be free but then when i'm free i want to be in a relationship we're looking at that kind of energy at the moment we're looking at where we're putting our external energy and what we're kind of getting back from relationships as well this is also about um it, there could be issues around the father figure or the father figure kind of thinking he knows best. Or it could be that a lot of the divine masculines right now are putting and focusing their energy into the home, into the children. You can see that the external energy is there. Or it could be that they're turning away because this is an energy... Um, where they're either all in or their energy is somewhere else. So... The Divine Masculine is looking into the past in this reading. And then we've got the Deaf and the Divine Feminine. Um, kind of being able to maintain all by herself in some senses. We've got the stars, so she's still got hope and faith. This is also talking about the relationships that are supposed to survive this will. Yeah, despite our fears, yeah. It also talks about um, tapping into our intuition in order to make the right decisions. Yeah, because right here, she's got her back to her intuition. We have the moon card, which is talking about water, tapping into the synchronicity, tapping into what the universe is trying to tell us, removing the blindfold in some senses as well. But I think as the moon gets fuller, we're going to go through this transfer. As the moon becomes into the new moon phase, we're going to go through this transition. It's very much a phase of healing for ourselves. It's like we have this new beginnings. We have this um, looking after ourselves. But then we've got this balance, finding the balance within what where we are now, finding the balance, going through that healing Um trying to kind of mix the energies of fire and water as well because we're looking at where we're putting our emotional energy and how that is affecting our external energy within relationships. Or it could be that we're just taking a hold. We're not allowing people to dominate us with the King of Wands or it could be that the masculine could be um, doing that. Or it could be that they're not taking any sort of responsibility or any kind of leadership. Yeah. We have also the card of Aquarius here. We have Pisces. We have Scorpio. We have the fire signs. We have Gemini. We have Leo. We have Sagittarius. And we have the nine of pentacles here as the earth signs. I'm going to take a... Um, energy card energy oracle card to go with the reading okay we got victory this is there's a victory coming in there's some kind of bright new beginning some kind of revelation that's coming in for the divine feminine and this is after she's gone through these processes of change this is after this phase that we're going through in the center of the reading here and like we come out of this on the other side, we come out of this um, completely independent in some senses, more grounded, yeah? This is also a 10, which talks about new beginnings as well with the sun as well. So this is also new beginnings, um, things that are happening it's like victory moving forward for the Divine Feminine. Let's take a spirit guidance message. We have breathe. The breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul. It is the connection between the inside and the outside, connecting you to the universe, spirit and the divine source. The breath permeates your entire being with prana, which is the same life-giving life force that nourishes everything in the universe. So, it again is talking about the external and the internal, the outside and the inside. Now, this is also echoed in the King of Wands. He's that external energy. Yeah. And then we have the internal energy here with the moon. 
yeah? And we're having to kind of find a way to make the divine masculine and the divine feminine work. So we're coming to a new stage of balance within that. This is a new healing for the divine feminine and the divine masculine. So I really do hope this has helped. If you'd like a personal reading from me, all the information is in the box below. If you'd like to like, share and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Take care, stay blessed. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.